Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'd like to share with you a clipboard that I am altering using the Graphic 45 Time to Flourish calendar pad. This is an absolutely beautiful new collection that Graphic 45 has come out with, and they have the full line of it, um, what they normally have. They have the 12 by 12. They have two different 8 by 8 pads. One is a cut apart and one is the flourish paper. And then they also have ephemera cards and stamps and of course all their chipboards and tags and banners and flowers. And this is an absolutely gorgeous, um, probably one of my favorite, close to botanical tea of their collection. So I'm using a clipboard that I got from my local dollar store and I'm just priming it with two coats of gesso on both the front and back side and I'm making sure to get the edges as well. This will just help my paint when I go to paint it adhere better. Otherwise I would probably need four coats of this blue paint if I didn't prime it first with the gesso. So I'm using this blue acrylic paint and I wanted to tone it down just a little bit so I am mixing it also with the white gesso and stirring it up real well here with a, a popsicle stick. And I'm going to do two coats of this on the clipboard as well. One coat left a little bit of white streaks in it, which actually was really pretty. So I thought about leaving it with one coat, but I ended up deciding I wanted um, full coverage of it so I went ahead and did two coats of this and I did use my heat gun to help the drying process especially under where it clips down right there I took it outside and I used this Krylon glitter blast it was the first time that I've used this glitter spray and it is just gorgeous it gave such a pretty shine to this so as you can see I'm using a non-stick mat under that until I'm positive that the paint has dried under where that that clip holds down. And now I'm just using a stencil, a honeycomb stencil that I had in my stash and a little bit of Liquitex. And this is modeling paste and I'm just adding this around the clipboard. I wanted to give my clipboard a little bit more texture. I'm using a palette knife to put that down with. And now here is the calendar pad, the time to flourish. And as you can see, they are double sided papers and there's two of each month for the whole year in there. And I like that they're blank. So if you give this to somebody, um, they can choose when to start it because maybe you don't give it to them till February or March of this year. They can use it starting March all the way through next January since the dates are not on there and you add those separately. Now I'm going to add some flower clusters to this and those two large white flowers, I use the Heartfelt Creations Ariana Blooms. I'm sure you've seen me use those in several videos. They're probably my favorite way to make handmade flowers. They're super simple. I'm using the die from there. And now I'm just adhering this on with some hot glue and a little bit of E6000 as well. On the back of this clipboard, I also added a pocket to hold the remaining pieces of the calendar that are not in use. And that way you can just switch them out and what I like about having this paper being double-sided is on the back of each month, you can add photos to this or notes. And that way you can save this at the end of the year. And it can also serve as a memory keeper as well. So I hope you enjoy watching the process of this. And please check out Cut at Home's blog. There will be product information on there. And there's always lots of inspiration. And thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.